morning my dear students this is homo santari today we are discussing about history unit 2 the topic is mesopotamian civilizations children before starting the class i will ask few questions from previous topic are you ready okay let's start question number 1 egypt lies in the north eastern corner of the dash continent egypt lies in the north eastern corner of the dash continent you know the answer yes the answer is african egypt lies in the north eastern corner of the african continent question number 2 egypt is irrigated by the river egypt is irrigated by the dash river answer is nile Question number 3. The Egyptian king was known as the Das. The Egyptian king was known as the Das. Right answer is Paro. The Egyptian king was known as the Paro. Question number 4. The preserved dead body is called Das. The preserved dead body is called Das. Answer is Mummy. The preserved dead body is called Mummy. Question number 5. Sun God was called Das. Sun God was called Das. Answer is Oman. Sun God was called Oman. Okay, children, I hope you are all got correct answer. Isn't it? Well done. Okay. Now, we are going to today's topic, Mesopotamian Civilizations. Mesopotamia is the Greek word meaning land between the two rivers. Ancient civilization developed in this area because of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. The land was fertile. The nearly rivers provided water and settled farming was practiced. In the Greek language, meso means in between and tomes means river. The Euphrates and Tigris flow here and drain into the Persian Gulf. Since this area is known as two rivers as Mesopotamia, the northern part Mesopotamia is known as Assyria and the southern part is called Babylonia. Once again, the northern part of Mesopotamia is known as Assyria and the southern part is called Babylonia. Some of the major Mesopotamian civilization include the Sumerian, Akkadians, Babylonians and Assyrians. Now, I will explain the Sumerians. The Sumerians are the first attested in southern Mesopotamia in the second half of the 4th millennium BC. Sumer was an ancient civilization founded in the Mesopotamia region of the Fertile Crescent situated between the Tigris and Euphrates River. Known for their innovations in language, governs, architecture and more, Sumerians are considered the creators of civilization as modern humans understand it. The oldest civilization in Mesopotamia belonged to the Sumerians. Sumerians were the contemporaries of the people of Hindus and Egyptian civilizations. The civilization had trade connections. The Sumerians started the Lower Tigris Valley around 5000 to 4000 BC. They are believed to originate from Central Asia. They founded many cities and Nippur was one of the important cities. They developed an cuneiform writing system. During the early phase of the Sumerian civilization, kings acted as the chief priest. Their political domination came to end by 2450 BC. Next, the Akkadians. The Akkadians empire was the first ancient empire of Mesopotamia centered in the city of Akkad and its surrounding region. The Bible also called Akkad. The Akkadians were followers of the ancient polytheistic Sumerian religion. 
Akkadians dominated Sumeria briefly from 2452-2250 BC. The Zargan of Akkad was a famous ruler. Who was the famous ruler of Akkad? The Sargon of Akkad was a famous ruler. Sargon and his descendants ruled Mesopotamia for more than 100 years. In the cuneiform records of Akkadians, mention is made about the Hindu civilization. The document of Sargon of Akkad referred to the ships from Meluka, Magan, and Diliman in the Quay of Akkad. The city of Akkad later became the city of Babylonia, the commercial and cultural center of West Asia. Next, the Babylonians. Babylonia was an ancient Akkadian speaking state and cultured area based in central southern Mesopotamia. The town of Babylon was located along the Euphrates River in present-day Iraq, about 50 miles south of Baghdad, one of the most important cities of the Middle East. It was on the Euphrates River and was north of the cities that flourished in South Mesopotamia in the 3rd millennium BC. The Semitic people called Amorites from the Arabian desert moved into the Mesopotamia. They were known as Babylonians as they established a kingdom and made by Babylon its capital. By the time of the king Hammurabi, they extended their domination to the western part of Mesopotamia. The powerful states of Ur and Babylon controlled this region. The hero Gilgamesh referred to in the first ever epic on the earth may have been king of Sumeria. Hammurabi, the sixth king of Babylon belonging to the first Amorite dynasty, attained frame as a great lawmaker. The epic of Gilgamesh is perhaps the oldest written epic on earth. It was originally written on 12 clay tables in cuneiform in ancient Sumeria. Next, I will explain the Assyrians. Assyria, also called the Assyrian Empire, was a Mesopotamian kingdom, an empire of the ancient, near east and the Levant that existed as a state from, perhaps as early as the 25th century. Assyrians conquered much of the Middle East and Egypt. Assyrians were perhaps most famous for the fearsome army. They were a various society where fighting was a part of life. Another reason for strength was the technology used by the Assyrians. The Assyrian Empire was politically active in Mesopotamia around 1000 BC. Assyrian kings were priests of Azur, the chief deity of Assyria. Assyrian government was controlled by the emperor and provincial governors were appointed by the emperor of administered province. Asur was the capital of city of Assyria, which is the capital city of Assyria. Asur. Asur was the capital city of Assyria. Asur Panipal was a popular ruler of the late or uh, neo Assyrian Empire, who was the popular king of Assyria. Asur Panipal. He maintained the famous library of uniform records. Assyrians worshipped the date of Lamuzu for production. Children. Next, the society, state, and administration of Mesopotamian civilization. The Mesopotamians arguably invented the centralized state and they developed kingship. Cities were political focal points as well as urban center, and leadership was passed down by kingly dynasties. As Mesopotamian culture developed, its city states placed into kingdoms. The Sumerian civilization had many city-states. A typical Sumerian city was surrounded by cultivable lands. And 45 Sumerian cities had the temples called ziggurats at its center. The temple was controlled by the priest. Priest, scribes, uh, nobles were put part of the government. The rulers and priests occupied the top of the social hierarchy. The ruler performed the role of 
cheap breast the scribes merchants and artisans were placed next in the hierarchy the scribes maintained the account of the taxes and breast collected their taxes temples acted the storehouses of their tax commodities assemblies were created for the administration of the state cultivable lands were owned by kings and higher class of people in the hierarchy the peasants who remained attached to the temples in the earlier phase of mesopotamian civilization became the free from the association in the later period not all people were allowed to live in the cities children next the food and agriculture of mesopotamia agriculture was the main economic activity in ancient mesopotamia operating under harsh constraints notably the arid climate and the poor soil the mesopotamian farmer developed effective strategies that enabled them to support the development of the first states the first cities and then the first known empires under the supervision of the institutions which dominated the economy the royal and provincial palaces the temples and the domains of the elites agriculture was the main occupation of the mesopotamian they had developed irrigation system for ensuring the availability of water for agriculture and cultivated wheat barley onions turnips grapes apples and dates they domesticated cattle sheep and goats fish was part of their diet next the trade and exchange of mesopotamia the land of mesopotamia did not have a lot of natural resources or at least they did not have the area in demand during the time period so to get the item they needed the mesopotamians had to trade in the southern part of mesopotamia docks were built along the sides of the rivers so that ships could easily dock and unload their trade goods the merchants traded food clothing jewelry wine and other goods between the cities to buy or trade these goods the ancient mesopotamians used a system of barter trade was an important economic activity of the mesopotamian society traded assisted in the exchange of goods procured from the porters and artisans they traded with syria and asia minor in the west and iran and the indus valley civilization in the east they traveled in ships across the seas for trade the temple acted as banks and lent credit on their own account the mesopotamian documents have references to loan and repayment without without interest perhaps this is the first written evidence of charging an interest on borrowed money next the cities and town planning of mesopotamia the mesopotamian cities fell short in terms of town planning as compared to the harappan centers but followed a uniform pattern nevertheless people resided in the walled city and the outer town areas houses were constructed along the streets and each house had a central courtyard with rooms attached around it the mesopotamian cities featured mud or backed brick walls with gates some people lived in reed huts outside the cities the ziggurats were the city center on the platform and appeared like steep pyramids with staircases leading to the top around this temple were complexes of ceremonial courtyards shrines burial chambers for the priest and priestesses ceremonial banquet halls along with workshops granaries storehouses and administrative buildings children next i'll explain religions of mesopotamia religion was central to mesopotamians as they believed the divine attached every aspects of human life mesopotamians were polytheistic they worship several major gods and thousands of minor gods each mesopotamian city whether sumerian akkadian babylonian or assyrian had its 
own patent god or goddesses the sumerian religion was polytheistic they worshiped several gods and goddesses sumerians did not pay much attention to the life after death and so they did not build pyramid like the egyptians sumerians prayed to enlil the god of sky and wind the city of nippur was center of enlil worship ninlil was the sumerian goddess of grind the babylonians worshiped marduk and azur was the supreme god of the assyrians ishtar was goddess of love and fertility tiamat the god of the sea and chaos and sin the moon god the kings were seen as representatives of gods on earth the mesopotamians developed a rich collection of myths and legends the most famous of these is the epic of gilgamesh which is written in the cuneiform text it contains a legend of the flood and the similarities with the ancient of nose ark mentioned in the bible and other myths in the hindu puranas children next hammurabi's law code the code of hammurabi is well preserved babylonian code of law of ancient mesopotamia dated to about 1754 bc it is one of the oldest disappeared writing of significant length in the world the sixth babylonian king hammurabi enacted the code a partial copy exists on 2.25 meter tall stone stele hammurabi code is an important legal document that specifies the laws related to various crimes it has 282 provisions specifying cases related to family rights trade slavery taxes and wages it is scored on a stone which portrays hammurabi is receiving the code from the sun god shamas it was a compilation of old laws based on retributive principles the eye for eye and tooth for tooth from of justice is used in the hammurabi code next the cuneiform the sumerian writing system the sumerian writing system cuneiform was one of the yearly system of writing invented by sumerians is ancient mesopotamia the term cuneiform 
comes from cuneus latin for wedge and shape the first cuneiform writings were pictographs created by making wedge shaped marks on clay tables with blend reeds used as a stylus cuneiform is not a single writing system however the term actually encompasses several different kinds of writing systems that developed over time all which consisted of individual signs made up of wedge shape cuneiform is the sumerian writing system the shape of the letter is one from a wedge hence it is called cuneiform evolving around 3000 bc it is one of the earliest script of the world the epic of gilgamesh was written in this script they used this script for commercial transactions and writing letters and stories the clay tablets contain loads of information on the sumerian civilization the development of script in the world the development of script is an important milestone in human history writing system began to emerge in sumeria in the later part of 4th millennium bc hieroglyphic is the egyptian system of writing developed in early 3rd millennium bc the harappans also had a system of writing around the same period but it is not yet been disappeared the chinese civilization to developed a writing system from very early period children next i'll explain art the art of mesopotamia mesopotamian art survives in the number of forms cylinder seals relatively small figures in the round and reliefs of various sizes including cheap blocks of molded pottery for the home the mesopotamian art included sculptures in stone and clay a few paintings and sculptures from the mesopotamian times how so vivid today mesopotamian sculptures pottery animals such as goats rams bulls and lions some mythological figures like lions and bulls with human head have also been found in their art massive sculptures were created at the time of assyrian and babylonian empire signs of mesopotamia the mesopotamian people developed many technologies among them metal working glass making textile weaving food control and water storage and irrigation the mesopotamians excelled in mathematics astronomy and medicine they developed the concept of multiplication division and cubic equation the numerical system based on 60 was conceived by them they were the ones to formulate the 60 minute hour the 24 hour day and 360 degree circle the sumerian calendar had been 7 days in a week their numerical system had place values they created the water clock and lunar calendar based on the movement of the moon they developed method of measuring areas and solids they also developed advanced weight and measurement system they introduced the 12 month calendar system based on lunar months their ideas influenced greek astronomy they had developed a medicinal system as well a text called diagnostic handbook dated the 11th century bc babylonian list symptoms and prognosis they indicates their scientific understanding of herbs and minerals the contribution of the mesopotamian civilization in fact mesopotamia is known as the cradle of civilization due to two major contribution that emerged in the region of sumer in 4000 bc the invention of the potter's wheel is credited to the sumerians they developed the calendar system of 360 days and divided a circle into 360 units the cuneiform is system of writing first developed by the ancient sumerians of mesopotamia 
it is considered the most significant among the many cultural contributions of the sumerians and the greatest among the of the sumerian city work which advanced the writing of cuneiform hammurabi's law code was another legacy of the mesopotamians the mesopotamian civilization contributed to the development of calendar system and astronomy children now we are going to end of this session i hope you are all understanding today's topic isn't it yes you must read two times in today's topic next class i will ask few questions from today's topic okay don't forget it okay children thank you see you next class